So the continuing saga of Are Your Jam Nuts Tight? Here's one we find all too often. On the RV-10, the trim, pitch trim mechanism is actually kind of hidden up underneath the aft fuselage. You gotta reach in there and check the jam nuts on each of the cables that go to the trim tabs on the left and right elevators. And Nick, if you wanna follow along in here. So you gotta reach your hand way up inside here, which I did on this one that came in for a condition inspection. You can see, I just spun this off with my finger. Can you see that turn in there, yep. Nick? Yep. So please don't forget about these two jam nuts. There's both of them, and on this aircraft, both of them are in fact loose. I was kind of shocked when I reached up in there and felt that. Hey guys, I'm replacing brakes again, as usual. Don't let your brakes get down to this. They're right on the limit. This is the new brake pad compared to it. As you can see, they're very worn. All right, back with more brakes. As you can see here, the puck is extended. That's completely normal for brakes wearing down, but trying to put the new brake pad on, you gotta put it back down. So we use a clamp to put it back down. So now we got the clamp on and we're just gonna squeeze it and put it back in. Yeah, nice movement there. It's going back in nice and gently because it's got to push all the brake fluid right back up into the reservoir. And we just push that flush. Great. For those of you who have fuel injected engines, it's really important to have a good fuel filter ahead of that pump. The kits from Vans come with the filter. Here's one that's typical in the injected engines, especially the Vans series. This is a fuel filter made by Airflow Performance. And so we'll check this one. Usually every, it depends where you're getting your fuel. If you're flying off of grass strips and a lot of chance for grass and dirt, we wanna check it every year. Most of the time we don't find anything in these things if you're getting your gas from a, you know, a good filtered place. But what you wanna do, get that out of the tunnel. And by the way, it makes a mess. So you're gonna want lots of paper towels around these fittings when you undo it. And then you pull this out and you can see the screen here. And this is typical what we see with screens that are, or aircraft rather, that are at, you know, good locations, good fuel filtering, absolutely nothing in there. Okay, so this one looks real good. We'll put it all back together. We'll blow some air to get some little stuff out of there, put it back together, put it back in the air. 